Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering one of the sensors in our phone. We have a bunch in there actually. If you look them up, you can see there's one that senses gravity, there's a, one that senses light, there's a gyroscope, etc, etc. But today we're working with the accelerometer, which basically measures acceleration. Um, so we have a X, Y, and Z axis on our phone. So you'll be able to see um, the data that it outputs. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've already put in three text views, three large text views. I've named them, this one's X text for the ID, Y text, and Z text. So let's go over to the Java and we'll start by importing a few different things. So first import Android and we're working with hardware. Let's spell Android wrong. And let's go sensor, import Android. Man, I really can't spell Android very well. I feel like I should be able to do that by now. Okay. Sensor manager. And sensor event. And two more. And sensor event listener. And because we're using a text view, we're going to need to import oh, widget dot text view. Perfect. Okay, so there's all of our imports. There's four that have to do with the sensor. And what's really nice is the same code works for all of the sensors. Unless I'm mistaken, please let me know. But as far as I know, I've, I've worked with a few different sensors, and those are the only um, imports that I've needed. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a few um, private object variables here. So let's start off with um, our text views, and we named them x text, y text, and z text. Okay, and then we need to make um, some objects for our sensor. Now let's call it my sensor, and we need a sensor manager. Well, let's call this SM for short. Okay, on create, we're going to do a few things in here. Um, first things first, we're going to want to create our own sensor manager. Uh, we created an object, but we didn't really set anything for it. So let's just, uh, I'm going to write a little note here so we keep track of what we're doing. Okay, sensor manager equals sensor manager uh, let's get system service and what we're going to be getting is our sensor service simple enough let's keep going oh why am I saying service it's sensor okay so do this we're gonna be working with my sensor we're going to set this equal to our sensor manager get default sensor. And what we're getting is um, well, sensor dot. We're getting accelerometer. But I did find that there's something uh, in here, maybe an Easter egg. If you start typing gravity, let's see. Is this where it is? No, it's not here. You'll see. You'll see. It's really cool. So let's get our um, type accelerometer in here. All right, let's keep going. I want to show you guys that. It's really sweet. So next thing we have to do is our register our um, sensor listener. And that's easy enough. Sensor manager. And there's a thing called register listener. So pretty nice. Pretty nice. So this, and we're going to be calling my sensor and sensor manager. And here, here's where it is. Look at that. If you start typing G for gravity, <laughs> they have the gravity of a Death Star in here. I mean, 
They've got a lot of stuff in here, but come on, if that's not an Easter egg, what is? All right, so we're not going to be getting gravity at this rate. We're going to be getting um, the sensor delay. And so basically, um, delay fastest is going to be reporting uh, data to the screen as fast as possible. There's one that um, they say is suitable for a game. And then normal is actually the default. So we're going to be using the default because why not? Okay. And the reason that this is not popping up correctly is because we didn't implement anything yet. So let's go here and implement implement new interface. And our interface is sensor event listener. And there we go. Now the red line's gone, but now we have one up here. And anytime we implement something, basically we're going to be saying that we're we're going to be using the methods that we're implementing. So we're going to have to use those to make that red line go away. But everything's all right right now. Let's um let's continue down here actually and do a few things left. Do a few things still whatever. So we need to basically assign our text views. Um, that way we can get the data from them. So X text. We've probably done this a million times already, but we can do it a few more times. Let's get the let's get a good grip on this. So find view by ID resource ID that and we named them uh, our IDs X text Y text Z text. Sorry, it's a little hard to type and talk sometimes. Okay. And Z. Okay, and that's it as far as like the main code. Now we just need to call those methods and once again, if you didn't watch my last video, there's a really easy way to do that. Anytime you implement something, if you hold down the Alt key, then press Insert, this little menu will come up, and you can generate the methods here. So it's implement methods. So here they are uh, on accuracy on sensor. Go ahead and click OK. So we're not going to be using on accuracy changed. So just type a little note, not in use. And when we do um, the sensor change, we can do a couple different things here. Um, but the most, uh, the easiest way, I guess, to get the information is simply just to set our um, our text views to whatever information is being provided by the sensor. So um, set text, and we'll set it to X with a little a little space and then we'll add um, event that values and everything from these sensors the X Y and Z um, actually are set into um, arrays uh, where the X is 0 Y is 1 and Z is 2 X Y text I'm not sure where I'm retyping all this and Z and a lot of the sensors are exactly like this as far as the um, data on the array goes all right so that should be it XYZ XYZ just making sure everything is typed correctly okay so we can go ahead and run this let's see yep I've already got my phone running However, it's not going to show us very much because these sensors are basically streaming data to our phone and you can't really get a sensor reading off a phone that's an emulator. So let's take a look. So we're getting a little bit of data here. Um, 
we have 9.77 here, and that's because the gravity on Earth is 9.8. So it's kind of giving its best reading there. Um, and the gravity, of course, from the y-axis is from, you know, the top of the phone to the bottom. If you were to flip this phone over, it would be a negative number. But, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this, publish this, um, and do a little screen capture on my phone. I'm going to do the best I can to show you guys what it looks like. All right, and here's my phone. I'm going to be tipping my phone to the left, so all of the gravity now is going to be centered on the x-axis, the right side of the phone. Okay, now I'm going to tip it back up to the right so it's in a vertical stance. And now I'm going to be taking my phone and pushing the top of it downwards so it's laying on its back. You can see that the z-axis has all the gravity on it. And tipping it back. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Have a great day.